Blake, are you ready to meet my boyfriend? Depends if you're ready to meet my girlfriend. Her girlfriend? Yeah. You don't have a girlfriend. You can get a boyfriend. I can get a girlfriend. Easy. Oh yeah? Who's your girlfriend? Dixie. The amount of sass. <laughs> Dixie D'Amelio? Yeah, don't question us. I had no idea my brother was dating Dixie D'Amelio. Yeah, it's about to be Dixie Swata. Okay, is that right? Yeah, we're going out to dinner tonight. Tonight? <laughs> oh, they are done! So, I have some college sorority friends. They all decided that they would challenge each other and see who could sleep their way through the alphabet first. As in, hook up with a guy, beginning with each letter of the alphabet. I mean, seriously, what could go wrong? They just started this challenge two months ago. One of the ladies already made it to letter K last night and then found out today that she is pregnant with a child bun in the oven. <laughs> and not with one, not with two, but with three babies. Well, someone was fertile and she doesn't know who the dad is. It could be Alex, Ben, Caleb, Darren, or the other six guys. But on the bright side, she hooked up with letter K last night. Therefore, Kevin from Arkansas State University, you are not a father champ. Congratulations, bro. As for the rest of the letters, it's a guessing game. Who's about to be a dad of three? So in high school, I used to like this guy. Everyone thought he was cute, which was weird because now that I look back, he wasn't. I think it was because we lived in a small town and that's all we had. Anyways, he had asked me on a date. Little freshman me was like, oh my gosh, yes. He did not seem into me at all on our date. But when he took me home to meet my parents, suddenly he was a whole new person. On the second date, when he picked me up, he brought my mom flowers. How sweet. He then asked me if he could get my parents' phone numbers because he had something to surprise me with. After I gave him my mom and dad's phone number, he stopped talking to me. My mom then started to receive good morning and good night texts from him. What the heck? I confronted him at school. He said, whenever you look as hot as your mom one day, hit me up. Six years later, I just saw him in Walmart. He said, hey, Tab, how are you? You look a lot like your mom. No, little boy blue! My mother and I are not interested. Your tractor is not sexy. It does not turn us on. So my sister just saw a cute boy in Target. Being the cool sister that I am, I decided to be her wingman and help her out. So he's standing behind us in the checkout line and my sister's acting all nervous. So I thought it would be a good idea to knock her stuff off the checkout table in hopes that he would help her pick it up. So I just grabbed all my bags and I took off running. I looked over my shoulder and I realized that he was help- <laughs> That he was- Gosh dang it, sorry. That he was really helping her pick up her you. stuff. I'm a pretty good wingman. Did you get his phone number? I'm gonna be single forever. Why? What happened? Nothing. <laughs> Did you get his phone number? No. <laughs> what happened? When I bent down to help him, I let one slip. <laughs> you let what slip? A fart. <laughs> what? Where is the bag of stuff? I left it. <laughs> Why did you leave it? Because after I farted, he said it's okay. Sometimes life is clean. <laughs> find the match to any of my socks. Today we are doing some deep cleaning, so I go downstairs and all my socks are underneath my brother's bed. Apparently they've been down there for so long they've aged. Like, literally, they've been down there for that long. Like, it's you being annoying for me. It's you having a mask for me. It's your hair for me. It's you having a red face for me. It's your hat for me. It's you not getting a boyfriend until you're 20 for me. It's you being a bench warmer for me. Take that back. No. It's you dropping out of college for me. Okay, but that hurt. Okay. You speechless, huh? Good Lord. Today I decided I'd pick on my sister. <clears throat> Hi. Hey. I have to tell you something. Why do you have breast vitamins? I have to tell you something. Madeline. You're adopted. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Mom and dad didn't tell you, but that's literally why you don't look like any of us. Moment of realization. Sorry if that hurt your feelings. I was just being honest. Oh, we're being honest now? Fine. Mom said the other day you were an accident. Sometimes the truth hurts. So today I went to go get my ears pierced, and the lady was literally taking 25. What? Go. No, go. And the lady was literally taking 20 go and the lady was literally taking 25 minutes i'm trying to tell a story <coughs> the lady was literally taking 25 minutes to make two little dots i had a lunch at once so i politely said hey if it's gonna take much longer i'll just come back later she got frustrated with me and said ma'am it's not my fault that your ears are so uneven 
I didn't even know my ears were uneven. Let me just add that to the list of insecurities I didn't know I need to have. Right next to the fact that I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. Stop playing with my hair and listen. I think I'm gonna run away. Okay. You're not worried about me? Do you have juice boxes and food? Yeah. Then you're fine. You're not gonna miss me? Wait! Oh lord. Are you trying to get me to run away with you? No. I have school stuff. Since when do you care about school? Since I found out my teacher was smoking. Smoking hot or smoking? Never mind. Go to school. Actually, I'm gonna go see her now. Why do you look like that? Uh, and by the way, I got forgot some shoes. You need shoes for school! What is wrong with him? Seriously, I need shoes. Take me back home, please. All right, Blake, today's gonna do you be just different. think about it? Do I think about what? What? You know. I'm confused. Do you want me to buy you a Nintendo Switch? What? What'd I say? Do you want me to buy you a Nintendo Switch? Gotcha! Oh yeah, for next year, you're buying me a Nintendo Switch. I'm not Switch. buying you a Nintendo Switch. Let's make a deal. These never go well. Let's make a deal with your followers. Followers? Yeah. How many followers oh my gosh. do you have on Instagram? I don't know why he said it like that. Uh, 680,000. I swear this kid always looks sneaky. What if, if you get one million, you have to buy me a Nintendo Switch? <laughs> A million on Instagram. Yeah. Aw, and he was so confident. Deal. But if you don't, you have to clean my car and do my dishes for a week. <laughs> Deal. That moment when your brother takes a confident L. Come on, ladies, help a gentleman out. <laughs> so I have some friends that decided they wanted to sleep with a guy, beginning with each letter of the alphabet. Smart, right? Their idea was that whoever completed the ABCs first wins. I'm sure your kindergarten teacher would be so proud. They are two months into the competition, but one of my friends, after hooking up with letter K, Kevin from Arkansas State University, found out yesterday that she was pregnant. And get this, she's pregnant with not one, not two, but three babies. <laughs> Triplets! And she doesn't know who the dad is. It's one of the guys A through J. Today, we all went to lunch. And get this, she informed us that man A, Alex, and H, Hunter, our brothers! Dude! I know it's a long shot, but what if all three babies have different dads? What if both of the brothers father one of the children? How would how would you explain that? I decided I would freak my sister out with a back cracking prank. Maddie! Will you come here? To pop my back! I never popped your back. Why? Just pop it. Go in there. Just record it. Please listen to what my brother says. Let's just hide it. Wait, I don't know what to let's do. Let's just go out to the burn pile. And burn well, come on. Something. Hello? Mom, I need help. Tabby just fell on the floor and she popped her back. What? What do you mean she fell? She was uh, climbing on a chair and uh, she fell. Okay, I'm on my way. If you wake up, you break my back too. Just don't tell mom and dad. Oh, we were just at a gas station. This man walks up to us and says, You're both very pretty. Have hair and teeth like models. But we didn't know what to say, so we're both like, Thank you. Then the guy says, Where are you guys from? We're like, Missouri. He says, Oh, that's a long ways from home. But we're like, Yeah. And this gave us this really weird, creepy vibe. She looks at us and says, How old are you guys? Like, I'm 19. I'm 21. So we carry on getting gas. It literally made me feel so uncomfortable. He looked at us and he was just like, So Oh, do you guys know your way around here? And then we're like, yeah, so are you guys alone? Mind you, this guy's like 60 years old. We both hesitated and we gave two different answers. I said, uh, we're here with a group of friends. And I said, uh, our parents are back home. <laughs> then this guy looks at us and says, okay, well, I hope you have fun. Very end, he says, oh, I hope you guys stay safe. There's a lot of weirdos out here. And now we don't know what to do. This guy's just sitting over here being super creepy and weird in his car. And my only way to cope with it is laughing. <laughs> like, rumor has it. Hold on. We're filming a video. Oh. Hey, Tyron. Yeah? Blake. Actually, I'm filming, filming a TikTok with my sister right now. Tyron wants to know how much money for you to do the WAP. Absolutely not. I'm not doing the WAP. Tell Tyron that you have to go because we're making a video. We gotta go. Uh, he won't do anything for money. Dollars. He's not paying you $25. I'm not doing it. Why? Because. You tell him. You Tyron, I'll do the WAP if I get a million subscribers on YouTube. 
He said deal. Wow, twelve year olds. You give me fifty dollars if I give you my sister's phone number. No. Yes. You're not giving him my phone number. You're it's not selling dollars. my phone yes, number. Yes, I am. Yes. You're not. No. Yes. I said no. Yes. Tell him you need to go. Tyron I gotta needs go. to go. I gotta go. You. You said yeah. I'll meet you at school tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it to you. No. I can hear you. Who cares? I went on a date with another famous TikToker. Someone you guys know. He took me to the movies. This was the first time I've ever met this man. We had some small talk in the ticket line. But the movie starts playing and I still know nothing about this guy other than the fact that he dances on TikTok. We're sitting there, he puts his hand on my thigh. Like, okay, you're literally a stranger. And this man started to move his hand in this motion between my legs. I don't know if he's used to talking to fishy girls, but like... Then he leans in. He says. Oh, there are rumors on TikTok, but it's 10 inches. We love some confidence. But I didn't want to be the one to tell him that he was measuring in centimeters and not inches. <laughs> in the movie, the girl screamed, tightened his grip on my thigh and said, I could make you scream like that. What? I text my dad for him to come get me. He was not going to share this story, but this man just Venmoed me $3,000 and captioned it. Don't tell anyone about our hookup. Uh, what? Sir, if you don't want me to drop your name, I'm going to need an extra 5000 So I had this college classmate, and he always slacked off in every class we had together, but yet always had straight A's. Like how? You getting close with our professor? Dude, he didn't even show up for class. So I got to know him a little better, and I guess you could say we became friends. Homies. <laughs> Bros. And that's when he told me his secret. So there were two ways you could get away with skipping class. One, you were sick with a doctor's note. Or two, an emergency or death in the family. Every time he didn't want to go to class, he would go to the local funeral home. This man would walk into a random person's funeral, grab one of their little brochure thingies, and leave. The following day when he'd return to class, he would make his eyes red and walk in. He would hand the booklet to the professor as proof he was at a funeral. He had lost track of how many times he did it. At the end of the year, we had our huge final. It was 70% of our grade. I was like, this boy's gonna be screwed. The professor felt so bad for his entire family passing away. So the professor let him off the hook and said, you don't have to take the final. I'm sorry this year was so rough on you. And he passed another class with an A. But hey, I Isaiah, it'll be our little secret. Like today we're gonna be talking about something serious. Is it girl stuff? No. I held hands with my boyfriend. And? How does that make you feel? It's just a hand. I'm a man. Think I'm gonna freak out? And I hugged him. That's a little too far. You just started dating. And uh, I kissed him. And here we go. I'm telling dad. Hey Siri, call dad. Uh -huh. Dad, Tabby kissed her boyfriend. How do you know that? She just told me. Did you see her? Yeah. What a little liar. Why I don't want to hear about Tabby kissing anyone. Why are you telling on her? Yeah, you snitch. Because it's a boy, Dad. Mike, we are going to have to let Tabby go. She's 20 years old. We don't need to be in her business. Okay, but she kissed someone. I know, I don't like it neither. Tell her to wash her mouth out really good. Wash your mouth out, Dad said. Literally, why am I so embarrassing? My boyfriend and I were talking, and a Shawn Mendes song was playing. And it's making me feel all in love. That's such a romantic vibe. Or so I thought. So I had a few things going through my mind. My boyfriend says, I want to tell you something. I was like, I want to tell you something too. So we tell each other at the same time. I said, I want to marry you. My boyfriend says, I'm gay for Shawn Mendes. Hey, oh, and he was like, oh, that that was horrible timing. <laughs> so there's that. So my friend from college slept with 11 guys in two months and ended up getting pregnant with triplets. She said, protection? Never heard of it. Yesterday, she took a DNA paternity test to see which lucky guy out of the 11 was going to be the dad when she should have been asking who are the dads, plural. She said that the DNA reports came back for two of the men. Two men's DNA, but three babies. I'm a little confused. Imagine having triplets and all of them coming out looking like three of the different fraternity guys she slept with. Pike and Sigma Pi fellas. Looks like Saturdays are for the boys are about to be for the babysitting. Aw, good luck. Okay, I'm gonna need you to ignore this. But I'm at the airport chilling in the bathroom doing my thing. Of course, when you're going number two in a public bathroom, you get a little self-conscious. And he comes in and sits in the stall next to me. I'm chilling there waiting for the lady to leave. And it's dead silent. This girl ain't peeing. But I stand my ground. I wasn't gonna leave the bathroom. So then I hear her start laughing. I was like, what the hell? So she speaks up and says, honey, this totally gonna be out of my comfort zone, but like, 
Can you give me some toilet paper? I died! I handed her a bundle under the stove. A few minutes passed. And she said, You finna poop too? I said, I mean, I guess. She said, Honey, what do you mean you guess? You're either going or you ain't. Then we both flushed the toilets at the same time. Then she said, You can go on ahead and wash your hands so it's not awkward. I laughed. She laughed. That's it. That That is all of the story. So I went on a run and a cat with a rope started to chase after me. Hey, stop. Stop. Come here. She doesn't have any tags, but she does have a collar. She ended up making a good running buddy. Or, well, I thought. Yeah, so she made me eat dirt. <laughs> it just made me eat dirt. Okay. You know what? It's not a running buddy. I just fell. Well, because I tripped over the dog. It's still following me. No, those aren't your cows. Come on. Hey. Update. She's tripped into the truck. She's not mine. Sorry. We have to communicate here. Okay, listen, I've been feeling really alone lately. You're sleeping outside? My parents did that to me once. I hated it. Hey! Great. You almost got hit by a car. You're not even my kid. Do you have a boyfriend? I have a boy dog. He might be too young for you, though. I wouldn't want you to catch a case, you know? What's good, Shadi? Woo! Why are you wearing that? Because? I don't know. Do you want to talk about getting married? What? I said, do you want to go get some candy? That's not what she said. Yeah, it is. Do you want to go get some candy? Sure. How many kids do you want? What? Say, say that again. I said I'm hungry. Do you want to go get a croissant? That is not what that sounded like. That's what I said. Since when do we eat croissants? Since today I saw a video. I wanted a croissant. Sure, let's go, let's go get a croissant. Why are you being so weird? Why am I? <laughs> Why am I being weird? You're wearing a mask in the car. Today we are going to the vet because Maddie's dog is having puppies. You gonna have puppies. So what are we taking your dog to get? X-ray. No, an ultrasound. What? An ultrasound? Is that where they put the dog to sleep? It's where they see if it has babies. And here we go to the vet. I'm gonna be a mom. I'm gonna be a grandma. So the vet did not go as planned. She's a little upset. So, what did the vet tell you? I told the vet that my dog's having puppies, and he said, no, your dog's just overweight. She waited two months, so she's had puppies. What a waste of time. I just don't get it. I just don't understand. And this guy, this guy just tells me that my dog's overweight? What am I supposed to do? Put her on a treadmill? Tell her to hit the gym? That's animal abuse. How do I know this guy even has a license? I bet she's never got his dog pregnant. Or, he probably never seen a pregnant dog. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'll just be a mom. You would be a grandma. Oh my gosh. Well, I've been looking for makeup artists for a pageant. I drove two and a half hours so that a lady could do my makeup. She contacted me and said, I'll do your makeup for free if you promote me on your Instagram. You can't go wrong with that. Or so I thought. This is what I got. Now, the lady was telling me that she was ranked top 10 in Oklahoma. I thought she meant the top 10 best. It's just really harsh. She finished my makeup and I was like, <laughs> Where are the cameras? Did I just get pranked? The bad thing is, this is a $55 look that I did not want to promote for free. So I just paid for it. The lipstick tastes like fish. And the foundation smells like vinegar. And while she was applying the mascara, it smelled musty. Booty. Like, for real, smell it. Oh, wait. And the eyeliner is like a weird sandy texture. It has little grains in it. But honestly, the more I look at it, it's not that bad. You will not believe what my grandma said. So my cousin is leaving for the Air Force. So we had a going away party for him. So I see my grandma. I have not seen her in forever. I sit down next to my grandma. And the vibe just kind of fell off. So everyone gets silent because we're about to pray. Right before we're about to give the Lord thanks. My grandma says, I saw your Instagram post, Tabitha. So I'm like, what? Dead silent. She says, I hope that now because you're in social media, you don't have silicone in your boobies. My grandma thought I got a boob job. What? I was like, God, make her stop. Tabitha, your boob's done. Grandma, I don't have a boob job. Look. She said. Tabitha, how am I supposed to tell if you got them done or not if I can't see anything? So I said, well, that should answer it for you. Grandma, you can't see anything because I still don't have boobs. Tabitha, we'll pray. Will you guys bow your heads with me? Dear God, I just ask that you help my granddaughter for she has a flat chest. Hey, babe. Are you hungry? Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't really know. You don't know if you're hungry? We could go anywhere. I just don't really care. Well, what are you hungry for? Honestly, I don't really know. Okay, so you are hungry. Um. It's yes or no. Uh, like, are you hungry or are you not? 
Yeah. You are hungry. Mm -hmm. Where would you like to eat? Ah, uh, no, I'm not hungry. You're not hungry. No. I don't want anything. You don't want anything. Yeah, okay. I don't want anything. So if I go and I get me something to eat, you don't want anything. No, I'm okay. I, I promise. This line's taking forever. Hey, could I get and fries? Sure, don't want anything. No, I, I swear I don't. Wait a minute. You think I could have a bite? I thought you weren't hungry. I am just one bite. That's all I want. But this is my food. One bite. Well, I now know why men get so frustrated. My dad went on a business trip. I had to stay at home with my stepmom and my stepsister and brother, who I swear hate me. Anyway, we all went to the mall, and a very popular guy named Luke invited us to a pool party. We got home, I went to go change into my bikini, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I walked outside my room, and my stepsister was wearing it. It was like, bruh. My stepsister said, I look way better in it than you did. My stepmom walked out and said, you can't go anyways, you have to clean all the pods out of your brother's car. He literally goes through three pods a day that was going to take me forever. They all left for the pool party, and I was stuck home alone. There was a knock at my door, and my dad's side hug. Me and my dad's aunt walked in. We talked and I told her about what happened. She left and came back with the cutest, cheeky, leper, sexy, bikini ever. Put it on and went to the pool party. When I showed up, all heads turned. Yeah! Luke and I hung out all night and I had the time of my life. But my curfew was at 12 so I had to roll out. On my way out, my bikini snagged on a tiki torch and fell off. So I ran. Topless. Whenever I got home, I noticed that Luke posted my bikini top on Instagram caption. Looking for the mystery girl who has the matching bottoms to this bikini top. Is this love?